Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be doing our week 10 preview. I'm going to give you guys my thoughts and opinions about this week's drop and then you guys can lay it back to me. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions about the drop in the comments down below. I will be sure to get back to as many of you guys as I possibly can. Here we are at week 10. Now I'm assuming that there's probably going to be 18 to 20 weeks in the season. So we are right about the halfway mark right now. I feel like the season has been serving us well. I feel like there's been a lot of good drops, a lot of good items, things have been slapping. So I'm hoping that we can carry that energy into the next 10 weeks. If you guys are with me, then holler, dude. Much love to everybody that's been showing love to me on the past couple videos. A lot of people been DMing me, throwing me messages, sending me messages, leaving comments, just showing love on the past couple videos that I've been posting. And I greatly appreciate that. I'm going to do my best to keep the momentum going so I can get some videos for you guys out to watch on the tube and we can rock it all summer long. Much love to everybody everybody that's been showing love to me. So as you guys know, this video is always sponsored by Preem Population, the best aftermarket community on Instagram. If you guys haven't been there, make sure you guys go check it out. We have a huge family at Preem Population. We always have a great time. We chop it up, talk about Supreme, sell Supreme. People are winning Supreme. It's super fire. Go check it out. We'll see you guys there at Preem Population. All right. So week 10 is highlighted by a collab with a Japanese artist named Sekintani Ladnara Hero. For butchering purposes, we are just just gonna call him Second Tani. So week 10, Second Tani Supreme. Let's get it, dude. When the collab was announced, I was a little bit not on the excited side because this collab had been leaked about a year ago, eight months ago, and the images that were leaked, I wasn't too excited about. They just didn't rub me the right way. So when it was announced last night that it was coming, I was like, ah, whatever. But then I woke up and I was presently surprised by this collab. There's a lot of items that I think are really cool and a lot of items that I'm excited to have. So this second Tani dude is a Japanese artist. He was born in Japan 1979, I believe. That makes him about 40 years old today. So he's still kicking. He's still making art and he's still drawing a bunch of weird shit, dude. He's been popping in Europe for over the past 20 years. He's been doing art shows in the underground scene in Europe. Uh, but obviously Supreme with him. His art is way out. It's crazy. It's psychedelic. There's a lot of body parts, a lot of human body parts, a lot of private parts, a lot of bodily fluids, a lot of weird stuff. Uh, so we're going to get into it right now, dude. I'm excited. Let's see what's good, dude. The first thing we're going to go over is this coach's jacket right here. Now, this is one of my favorite pieces that is dropping. When I saw it, I was like just taken by surprise for some reason. I was not expecting a piece like this, but I think it is super sick. The only problem is I'm not the biggest coach's jacket guy. If my jacket doesn't have a hood, I would prefer it to be a denim jacket. I don't have too many coaches jackets, but I might have to uh, limbo and break the rule for this one. I think this is a gas jacket. You have an all over print on it, which is probably why I like it. You got some letters going down the sleeve and you got some crazy graphics all over it. So these letters that are going down the sleeve, I believe it translates into Supreme. I took those letters, put them in Google Translate and Supreme comes out on the other side. So I guess it's some way to interpret Supreme or what Japanese would interpret as Supreme. And then there is some Supreme embroidery on the chest. You got like this Donald Trump type figure with like an areola nipple over his face. You have some girl with her tits out. You got skulls all over this. You have some chick, some dude with red hair licking something. Super crazy, but honestly, this piece is so gas. I can't wait to buy it. This is the dummy fire, dude. So let's move on to the skate pants, and these are fire as well. The only thing I don't like about the skate pants is the big white part that they left on the front of the pant. If they would have just continued the graphic and did like literally all over the pants, I feel like that would have been cooler, but uh, you got another crazy graphic on this. You got like these kids with these red faces reaching up for like some teeth, organ, heart thing. Too hard to explain, but dude, these skate pants are so gas. If you guys have never copped a pair of skate pants, change your life and do it. These are probably going to be expensive, but uh, I am excited for these to drop as well. On the back, you have those letters going all the way down. So we got a work shirt right here. These work shirts usually drop in collabs like this with artists and other stuff like that. They're usually just personal cops for a lot of people. The work shirts don't ever really resell. The desert camo is pretty 
fire though. And then on the back of it, you have the booby graphic, which we'll see on another T as well. So it's like some chick holding her boob and then some dudes taking like a saw to it. Uh, super crazy graphic. So here's the long sleeve top right here. This is like a premium top. It's gonna be a little bit more expensive, probably like 128 or somewhere around there. You have all over graphic on it, Supreme embroidered on the chest. Again, you got like this little kid graphic. They're reaching up for something. The pictures that they posted with somebody wearing this shirt as an undershirt, it looked really fire and uh, I'm excited to see that. So here we have the premium top. This is just a T, but it has an athletic label at the bottom. It's gonna be a little more expensive, probably 98 bucks. You have one graphic printed multiple times all over this. This reminds me of the Capone and Noriega print or the Capone and Noriega deck and T that they did. If you guys remember that in 2016. So here is the T and the long sleeve T. They come in some crazy colors, pink. You got this coral orange. You got this purple, yellow, black. And then you got some crazy graphic on the front. I'm not even gonna try to explain what's going on. There's like two characters in it, some kind of devil figure with those letters on it again. And then on the back, you have those same letters going down uh, that translate to Supreme. So that's the long sleeve tee. Will probably be regular tee price, 54, 58 bucks. And then you just got the boobies tee right here, which is the graphic that was on the work shirt with the uh, Supreme in the Japanese on the front. And then you have just the regular tee uh, with a front and back graphic as well. I'm sorry, it's kind of hard to explain the differences between these graphics because they're not really named and I can't really like give them a name because I have no idea what's going on in the graphic piece. So uh, forgive me, but you guys know what I'm talking about. There's a regular tee, a regular long sleeve, a premium tee, a premium long sleeve, and then you got the coach's jacket, skate pants, and then here's the decks right here. Two decks. Uh, I wish they would have done the booby graphic on a deck or done like that multiple print on a deck. I feel like that would have been cooler, but uh, you got the Donald Trump face on it as well. That's extremely hilarious that this face looks like Donald Trump and it's got a nipple on his face. That is seriously hilarious, dude. So I was presently surprised by the collab. I don't know too much about it. I don't know too much about the guy, but I do think it's sick. I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to go cop some stuff, see what it's like in person, and hopefully it's sick, dude. So let's get into these lookbook pieces so you guys can get out of here, all right? First thing is the pinstripe varsity jacket. Now, Supreme doesn't make too many varsities each year. Uh, so this is, I think, the second one this season. Now, these letters on the front of this jacket also translate to Supreme. I copied those letters, or actually I typed in Supreme for English and translated it to Japanese, and these two characters is what came out. So on the front of the varsity, it has Japanese characters that mean Supreme. And then on the back, it has Supreme in an arc logo. It's got pinstripes. It's probably going to be in the high $300 price range. The next jacket dropping is this Highland jacket. It's pretty much like a plain windbreaker, a little bit thicker mesh windbreaker workout type jacket. And then you have Supreme going on the hood in the back. So not too much branding. For the subtle boys, it's just pretty much a plain nylon jacket, windbreaker jacket with Supreme embroidery on the hood. So let's go to the Know Thyself hooded sweatshirt. Now this hooded sweatshirt has a little bit of a backstory to it. This has to do with like uh, ancient Greek times and actually a dude named Socrates. So this dude is, I believe, the picture on the front of the hooded sweatshirt. And then on the back, there are some quotes. And I believe the quotes are from the dude Socrates as well. It says, I know nothing except the fact of my ignorance. Let him that would move the world first move himself. And then there's another quote that says, because this world stinks. So I think what Supreme did here was took quotes from Socrates and then they just added one more on the bottom like just to be funny like their quote to go with it. It's a pretty dope sweatshirt on the front at the bottom it says 2019 AD. So that's pretty cool. Socrates was uh, a Greek philosopher from the BC area. He was alive around like 300 to 400 BC and he's just credited with being like a western Greek philosopher and uh, I guess he came up with the quote, know thyself. So that hooded sweatshirt's dropping this week. And then we can move on to the Supreme Forever half zip. So nothing too crazy with the half zip. I'm not a huge fan of half zips personally, but uh, even if I was, I don't know if I'd be feeling this one. I feel like the embroidery that they put on this jacket would have looked better on a tee, but uh, it's kind of got like an athletic vibe to it, I guess. It comes in four colors, Supreme Forever. So there is a you sweater dropping in three colors. Probably not going to do the best. Sweaters usually don't do that well. And then especially a sweater that has tiny writing that says 
fuck everyone. Probably not gonna do the best resale, but the black one is sick. I'm probably gonna pass. There's some other stuff that I wanna buy this week. This week is looking like a big personal cop week. Doesn't look like too much stuff is gonna hit for the flip, but that's all good, dude. We need personal weeks in there every once in a while. So there's two other tops dropping. There's this ringer top, which is pretty cool. It says Supreme Tiny on the chest, and then it's got some different colors up on your neckline. Those are pretty cool tops. And then there's a classic logo polo that's dropping as well. And then one of the best items dropping this week are these nylon trail pants right here. These pants are so sick. I already found the shorts in the lookbook. I had no idea that they were even doing pants. So when I saw that there was pants dropping, I was like, nah, this is a mistake. It's got to be the shorts. But sure enough, I found the pants. They put the ugly purple one in the front. I swiped. Bam. Look at that woodland camo right there, dude. These pants are so sick. These are perfect summertime pants. They're like light windbreaker material. Uh, they say supreme down on one of the thigh pockets. The woodland camo and the red and yellow are slappers. I'm going to have a hard time choosing between the woodland camo trail pants or the skate pants from the collab because I know Duva's not going to let me have both. So I'm going to have to make that tough decision, dude. So there's a couple hats that are dropping right here. Uh, some kind of camp cap. I believe it's uh, f everyone or f you camp hat or something. There's an Uzi six panel and then there is a logo crusher dropping. So nothing too crazy with the hat section this week. So if you guys are hating on this week, chill. It's all good. Last week was Farvaski. It was a huge week for everybody, including Supreme. So a calm week after that is always needed. Take it for what it is. If you don't want to cop anything, enjoy the week off because before you know it, they're going to be slamming us with heat week 11, 12, 13. So I hope you guys are ready. Much love to all you guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys made it to the end, thank you very much. Leave a comment down below. Leave some kind of comment how you're feeling about this week, even if you don't like it, what you want to cop, what you don't want to cop. I don't care. Leave a comment down below and drop a like for your boy. I'm going to do my best to keep plugging in videos every day that I can. Everybody wishing for my going forwardness and anybody that's motivating me to go forward and keep posting. Thank you guys very much. I love you and appreciate you guys all. Make sure you check us out on the gram at Prim Population or check me out on my personal at Leroy Destroy. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. I'm out week 10. Let's get it.